So when the files eventually load, you can see striking user interface differences between the iOS 11 version and the iOS 10 version. On iOS 11, everything seems to be integrated and unified, everything from the navigation bar to the search bar to the files. However, on iOS 10, you can see a defined navigation bar, then a defined search bar, and then a defined files area. When we tap the search bar on both, you can see that iOS 11 has a much more graceful and natural transition, whereas iOS 10 has the same transition that has been there since iOS 7. When we cancel out of the search, iOS 11 brings the ability to sort by size and add a new folder without having to tap select. And speaking of select, select has also gotten new features. When you tap on select on iOS 10, you can see that you can only create a new folder, move an item, or delete something. However, on iOS 11, you have the ability to select all, and then you even have the ability to share. The list view is also changed. When you tap on the list view on iOS 10, you'll notice that it has this animation, which looks a little garbled. On iOS 11, it just simply changes without an animation and looks a lot nicer. When you tap on recent, you can see files that you're working with. So it's easy to keep track of them, especially when you have a lot of files across different apps. iOS 11 also brings the ability to see other apps other than iCloud Drive. Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox have planned support for this in the future, and you'll be able to tap edit and then enable or disable apps that can show files within the files app. You can also see your recently deleted items, which sync across all of your iCloud Drive, your favorites, and you can sort by tags. Now if I go into a special directory that I made just for this video, we can explore how file manipulation works on both devices. I can simply tap on the icon to see a quick look. The quick look animation on iOS 11 is much more like the quick look animation on mail attachments, whereas the iOS 10 one is simply a push onto a new view controller. Also the iOS 11 quick look removes the bottom bar. It simply puts a share button in the upper right hand corner which I can use to share the file, and I can tag the file. However, there's no delete button, and there's no move button. When I pinch, I remove myself from the quick look on iOS 11, whereas I have to hit the back button on iOS 10. If I want to find out more information about that file on either version of iOS, I simply press on that file and continue holding. However, on iOS 11, you have to hold a little bit longer. Now, if we go through the different options that are available, they have been rearranged. And it appears as though iOS 11 has more options, such as adding tags, copying the file, and sharing the file. If we tap on the info, you can see that the display has changed on iOS 11. It looks a lot more like the inspector or the Get Info box on Finder on the Mac, whereas on iOS 10, it was its own unique view. I also have the ability to add a tag by simply tapping on Add a Tag, where I can add or create a new tag. For the purposes of this demo, I will give it a red tag. It's much easier to create a new folder and move files on iOS 11 than it is on iOS 10. On iOS 11, all you have to do is simply press on any blank space and a new folder or info button will appear, or you slide up and you tap on the new folder icon to create a new folder. However, on iOS 10, you actually had to tap select and then new folder where you could create a new folder. If I want to move a file on iOS 11, all I have to do is press and drag, and I have this drag and drop interface where I can drop it right into the folder and it moves. On iOS 10, I have to tap on the file's name and then tap move. And a modal pops up where I have to scan through a bunch of different files. Sometimes this doesn't even load and it simply crashes. Making it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to actually move files on an iOS device. Getting the info of the current directory is also much easier on iOS 11. Again, simply press on any blank space and tap info, and the Get Info window appears and you can actually see information about the folder, a feature that does not appear to be available on iOS 10. Let's demonstrate opening a file. However, the current version of Microsoft Word does not support opening directly from the Files app, so I can only copy this Word document into Microsoft Word, similar to how I could do it on iOS 10. What I would do is I would tap to see the quick look, and then I would have to tap the export slide all the way over until I could find copy to Word, tap copy to Word, and then it would open in Word. And this concludes the compare and contrast of the Files app on iOS 11 and the iCloud Drive app on iOS 10.